lives are great Something I never heard my radio say Black lives are precious, black lives are great Something I never see my TV say but since What up everybody, it's Kate Don from the Love First Podcast As you know, we started out 10 Power Keys series Make sure you check out the first key from the last episode This episode, we're going to take a short break Next week, we're going to go back to it But something very special, close to my heart Man, I really want us to support A special shout out to my aunt, uh, Miss Sandra Dickerson She's been working very hard in North Carolina, uh, removing the name Plantation from a lot of these community organizations and things of that nature. She was already successful in getting the name off one place, as you can see in the clip coming up, but there's a lot more places. She just needs your help no matter where you live. You just sign the petition. It's in the link in the description. Just click on that link, sign the petition, share with a friend, share with a family member. Let's get these signatures. It's 2021. Things need to change. A well, special shout out to Miss Sandra Dickerson. Check out this clip below uh, via Fox News. For some, it's a name, a selling point, a way to market a home, a street, or a community. But for the last several months, Sandra Dickerson has been asking, what does the name mean to you? When you think of the word plantation, what comes to mind, particularly for uh, people of color and black people, is um, the ancestors, the enslaved people that worked on plantation. Dickerson started a petition that's continuing to gain some steam. Her effort is part of a larger nationwide movement to address the use of place names that have a questionable history, from Florida to Rhode Island to the Low Country to the Queen City. There's Oakland Plantation Park. There's Plantation uh, Park Apartments, Belvedere Lake Plantation. Langtree Plantation, Sardis Plantation. One of the places making the change is Plantation Estates, a retirement community in Matthews. Officials tell us on Tuesday they'll be unveiling a new name, Matthews Glen. But within a short distance are neighborhoods that do have the plantation name. Well, even 26 years ago, the the plantation is a hesitation of silence. Edward Lee lives in one of those neighborhoods and told us of the weird interactions he had with people on the phone when he said he lived in a plantation community. I totally understand why people would need to change it, want to change it, so uh, to another name. Others we spoke with off camera say they like the names and don't necessarily see the racial connotation it has. Dickerson says her online petition, though, shows a growing movement. It wasn't like I had just made this up in my head. It was like other people were thinking this, other people were wanting to do something about it and not knowing what to do. Dickerson says communities are starting to take a second look and hopes others will consider history when making names. In Matthews, Derek Dollinger, Fox 46. What up, everyone? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell for the latest podcast, music videos, and comedy skits. We got a lot more content coming your way. We here on yes, set, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, baby. Yeah. We got to show love first like a podcast. Trying to work and trying to make it last.